Welcome back to Dreams. So I got here the final nightmare, uh, Nightmares Episode Five for um, Silent Rage. This is part one, though. Uh, the group has left the hospital in the middle of the night. Now they are on their way to an old rotten house on Elm Street. So our group of people are Alice, Brad, Yvonne, and Mark, who fell down some stairs but did not die. Uh, what character did we play before? Anna. Yeah, she's definitely dead. She's split in half. Let's go. This game has been created to be played in total darkness with headphones, otherwise you will diminish your horror experience for about 50%. bringing out stats here. Jesus. I am in the dark. Only, like, light is from the TV and my computer screen. Because of some dreams peacefully, we have split this up into two parts. Part 2 is coming in June July. Depending on how you play, part 1 takes about 40 minutes to complete. Okay. Hold on, guys. All right, let's begin. I like that. Takes me back. Fair warning. Graphic content. Disturbing scenes. Blood. Jump scare. Drugs. Nudity. Flashing lights. It's a rave. Oh, extreme. Okay. Sounded like an EDM concert there for a sec. Uh, previously on Nightmares from Elm Street. Uh, that's Anna, who I mentioned before was split in half. We may see how. There's Mark. He's after the Elm Street children. He's after us. That is Jane, I think. Episode 2. She mostly just hung out in the bathtub. And got wrecked. That is Steve, I think. I dream about pizza, but not like that. No comment on that phone. I was gonna comment, but I won't. Mark. This one was uh, this was Mark dreaming, the little puppet thing. That's Brad, who is not one of the Elm Street children, so he's free from all this. Hi, sir. My God, the security guy got it too. Don't know where his head went, though. They think that we did this. They'll think. We have to leave this place. He has become very powerful. But he's disappeared so quickly so he's not that powerful enough to stay in the real world. Yvonne put on some clothes. We still have time to stop him. So most of that was just a recap. Uh, 
mana. For Lisa. For Steve. And Jane, don't forget Jane. about to bust the move or something. Street 5. The final nightmare. Part 1. While in the hospital, Alice, Yvonne, and Brad made a deal to leave the hospital and go somewhere where they don't endanger anyone else. It turned out that Mark had a key to an old house on Elm Street. After Freddy killed the janitor in front of the group, Alice called her best friend Stephanie and asked her to drive to the hospital and give them a ride to Elm Street. Alice asked her to, to don't tell anyone about this. On their way to, to the house on Elm Street, Yvonne got sick, she got a cold, and old Fred Krueger gained a lot of power from the souls of his victims. What the group does not know is that Freddy needs only one or two more kills to return to the real world. Vote. What do you think this final episode is? What do you think how this final episode is going to end? Um, the full episode or just this part one? Hey man, positivity. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> Let's find out. It's hugs all around, man. Everybody, including Freddy, in this game has emotional damage. Let's hug it out. New Line Cinema. There's a shed. Maybe the girls should wait there t until we look looked around. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Yvonne's dressed. Yay. Alice, <laughs> bring Yvonne to the shed and wait there. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yvonne, Yvonne, I don't know. Mark and I are going inside the house to look around. Of course, it's 666. <clears throat> oh boy. 
Jeep. Huh? Okay, the electric box must be somewhere. If it works, we can turn some lights on. After you, bro. Mark. Has knowledge about Kruger's past. Only survivor of Freddy Kruger attack. Suffers from strong paranoia after heavy use of the terror cell drug. Is one of the Elm Street children. Didn't they say they're not going to take that drug anymore? And he has like the uh, freaking squall scar. Alright. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Find the electrical box, okay. In this creepy ass house. Sort of. So I just started the new season of the Stranger Things. I'm two episodes in. And the house in the first episode reminds me of this. We need more light before we look around for stuff. Where's that electrical box? I can't turn this lamp on. I yeah, okay, I get it. Find the box. While uh, Brad just stands there and looks pretty. And I mean very pretty. Thought that was like blood on the floor, but it's just the uh, floorboards. Here we go. Okay, cool. That, 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 that. Aha! Is that it? Do I just turn on some lights? There we go. Search for lamps and turn them on. There's this one. Aha! The statue of a mermaid. She has something in her mouth. I, can, I can't take it. It does not move. And there's a slit in her belly. Alright. And also her arms on the floor. Uh, is this what I think it is? What? The can? The banana peel? Or the fish? A lot of trash. <coughs> Okay, where'd Marco? Or Brad? I'm mixing them up. Wait. Well, that's as good as it gets. Oh boy. Whoa! It's me, bro. Are you okay, man? Yeah, I, uh... Sorry, dude. Oh, no, uh, so, did you find something? Yes, I did. Let's go through the other room. Brett. Plays basketball, loves sports, I think, and not one of the Elm Street children. He likes to read too. And cannot see Freddy, okay. Tip! On this episode you have to read the dialogue a bit faster. Huh. That might be a challenge. What happened? I heard a scream. Nothing, Mark just... I saw a rat. It scared me. I hate rats, I don't blame you. Where's Yvonne? She's in the shed, she is fine. And Stephanie's bringing us food, her home is not far from here. This place is creepy. Look what I found over there.
Alice. Reads lots of comics, loves fantasy stuff, feels the after effect of Terrestrial drug in the form of paranoia, is one of the Elm Street children. Man, where's this girl in my life? Anyways. There's a rat! <laughs> oh, we got a crowbar. Where did you find that? It was on the stairs. On my way up, I saw it and turned back down to show you. You could definitely kill someone with that thing. I'm helping you find more stuff, okay? Alright, I'm going upstairs to look around. And I need to rest. I'm up since 7 a.m. this morning. That's fine, Brad. We are thankful that you're here with us. Doing nothing, Brad. <laughs> yes, and Stephanie's coming back soon with some food. Five more objects that can be used as a weapon. Oh, a cockroach. All right. Hitting Freddy over the book with a head? Mm, nope. Bumping tunes, some looking around tunes. We could use his arm, can we? Can we use a crowbar on that? Can't do anything there. Maybe I could use his lamp. Nah, too big. Aha! Uh -huh. Got some wood. Better than nothing, I guess. Man, a coffee would be great now, or something to smoke. Oh, I saw a cigar on the couch over there. Do you want to smoke something that was in this house? Are you, yeah, exactly. Are you serious? Yeah, man, right over there on that couch. Wait, was that a happy Are You Serious? I know you, like, read a lot of books. There are plenty of them. Enjoy. You deserve it. Alright, man. I'm going to chill for a couple minutes and rejoin you guys soon. Take the cigar from the couch. Okay, I'm Brad. This is not as cool as your crowbar, but it'll work. You're getting a cold or something? a random cigar here. You're really gonna smoke that? Most people, be, be, well, most people don't know the answer to the following question. Do you know them? Uh, what is the fastest animal on the planet? Uh, horse, lion, tiger, cheetah. Cheetah? True or false? A dog sets a spells about 10,000 times strong. Sorry, I'm yawning. Uh, it's a friggin' 10.55 p.m. Uh, 10,000 times stronger than a, that of a human and a bear's sense of smell is 7 times stronger than a dog. Uh, false? Nope, that's true. There we go. What kind of bear is most likely to attack and kill a human? Black bear? Nope. Brown bear? Polar bear? There we go. How many times does the Earth fit inside the Sun? 1.3 million? I know it's a lot. It's 
huge number. That rat is Freddy. I know it. Hey! <laughs> rat. Uh, what's, this, what's this traits? Eat, sleep, repeat. Shit, okay. Repeat, there you go. Are we going to play as the rat? Well, I guess the rat is not Freddy. Oh, never mind. Oh, we're upstairs, okay. Um, the hell's that? There's something written on the on the metal plate. After I cut off her arm, I slammed this dagger into her belly. Yet, this is that legendary knife that killed the last of their kind. Yes, this is that legendary knife that killed the last of their kind. Okay, so the knife is for the mermaid. Or siren or whatever. Take. One antique knife. Uh, this picture fell off its frame, nothing unusual. What's it a picture of, though? This door has no handle! <laughs> it's always in exclamations. <laughs> that needs a key card, I'm guessing? I need an electricity card for this door. Which is weird for a regular house. Locked. Alright, check this room first. Just some old newspapers and books. The Times. Okay. Not sure what that means. Got a key and a screwdriver. One key. Boop -boop. Oh no. Okay. Follow the wire. It is this one. What do the other ones do though? You can scroll through your inventory, but only in a situation where you need it. Like now. Okay, here we go. Quick time. Damn, that was fast. Damn it! You're too quick. Okay, there we go. So quiet. Yup. Jesus. I was about to check if it was open yet. The 
It's not real, Mark. It's not real. Suffering from paranoia sucks. Oh, I think there was something in that cigar. <laughs> exactly, what am I smoking? Oh, we're outside in the shed. We have our first victim. <laughs> Yvonne. Can't live without the ocean. Got sick during the drive to the house. Was practically blind without her glasses as one of the Elm Street children. And I found a key in one of the rooms. Nice, let's open some doors. <clears throat> About this ancient dagger, I think... Oh. <gasps> was that the rat? Oh, that was Yvonne. <laughs> Down. She probably saw a rat or something. Hey, it was the rat. Alright, I'm going to check on her. I'll be right back. Man, she's going to be floating up in the air. Bones breaking. Eyes friggin' exploding. Stranger Things is so good. It's so good. I'm liking that this season seems more uh, horror-centric than the other ones. So far. Yvonne, just uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna look around a bit. Alright, I can't look around anymore. I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Playing this just gets me excited to play uh, the quarry. I think it's out next week. Oh, I can't wait to play. Frick, but I'm not going to be in town. Damn it. I have to wait a few days to play it. I'm definitely going to record that after Little Nightmares. 
too. So uh, watch out for that. I'm uh, going on a bit of a vacation. Going to the States, actually. Going to, uh, what's this place called? What's Wisconsin Dells? I barely leave my house, so it's, it's an amazement. And I feel my family is like happy I'm actually going somewhere. I'm going with my family. Uh, what am I doing? Alright, dagger. Let's, uh, do this. Stab the belly. Nope, wrong one. There we go. And key card. Or floppy disk. Try to open the doors, Mark. Alright, so we got some doors over here. Um, this one? Can't open it. This one. Oh, health pack. Sweet. A lot of wine. Oh no. <laughs> Mark's about to die. This old clock still works. Hmm. Oh no. Meanwhile. No. How am I going to explain this to Mark and Alice? Say Eddie. Say Freddy did it. It's not that hard. thumbnail here. Alright. I was right about it being the first death. Grab some weapons while you're here. Don't shower in her blood. Okay. Aha! Oh, yes. Send on gas. There it is. Excited, someone just died. It's time to send Freddy back to hell. Meanwhile, Stephanie brought some food. Yay! Ooh. Could use a good BLT. Thank you, Stephanie. You don't know how grateful we are. we're talking about you sh would have done the same for me mark while you're eating i would like to take a look at the room you talked about with the key card right just go upstairs and to the left okay i'll be right back uh, i could use a sandwich right now and stephanie New character, I think. Longtime best friend of Alice is helping the group by driving them to the house and bringing them food. Hates needles and sight and stinging objects. She has a secret. I'm trying to think if there was reference to her in the last episode. I want to say yes on the phone when Alice had a phone call. Not 100% on that. Alright, here we go.
never checked this door. Oh yeah, it has no handle. Oh, is like a workout room. Study. Must be something important here, otherwise why is this room behind an electric door? I better let Mark take a look at this. Am I gonna work out? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, gotta get ready for the brawl with Freddy. Gonna show him what's up. Hi. I don't... I don't believe in you. But I believe in you. Oh no. Bye Alice. Break free. How? Okay, here we go. Try harder, Alice. Yeah, I'm jamming the square. <sighs> oh. Two down, one more to go. Well, that's Al is dead. End of part one, part two coming next month or the month after. All right, that was Nightmares episode five, our Silent Rage. Okay, that was just part one. Definitely can't wait for part two. So, what I think after playing through, the rat's gonna kill Freddy, hands down. But uh, so, uh, Yvonne's dead. Alice, dead, wrecked. Same with her. Brad still alive with the chainsaw. Mark still alive, having a beer and some sandwiches. Stephanie. New player coming in. Don't know what's going to happen with her. She has a secret, apparently. And uh, we'll probably find out in the next part. But uh, very good, as with all the previous parts in this series. Probably one of my favorite series in this uh, in Dreams. Um, not sure what other series I played. I think Nightmares is the only one. Oh, there's, uh, of course, Don't Go in the House as well. I can't really think of any others. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely great. Uh, the story has me interested uh, what's going to happen um, throughout the whole series, what's going to happen at the end with uh, some of the characters that are left alive. And as I mentioned, I think I mentioned this previously, it has that feel of like uh, playing games like Heavy Rain or uh, Until Dawn or the other games from Supermassive. And this, playing this gets me uh, hyped to play uh, The Quarry, which comes out in... Today's the first. Ju today is June 1st comes out on the 10th next week Friday I won't be in the city so I'm probably gonna start playing it on the 13th so I'll watch out for videos that day or the day after and uh, yeah so get yeah, this reminds me of those types types of games I played and uh, can't wait for the other uh, games in uh, that they have in store like the next episode of uh, a child's play and the other ones we saw in the showcase they had before, such as Buried, Buried Alive or something, and King Kong. But yeah, enjoying it a lot. Can't wait to see how this ends. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. That's pretty much all I have to say. Be cool, stay safe, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.